Hello everyone, I'm N1000 and welcome to part 5. This is a little bit different than the other parts. I'm going to be doing some optional content that's fairly popular to do in a three rune game. I'm going to be covering hopefully the branches of Elf and Crypt. So I think first, let me see if I have any amulets that I would rather wear. Because I really don't need, I don't need any more weapons from Trog. But it's still, still, faith is by far my best option. Okay. I mean, I guess Guardian Spirit could be quite good. We'll put that on. Siren. Oh, and Mara's in the way, of course. Right? Well, we don't want to fight Mara. Hmm. And it looks like the... Well, forget it. <laughs> We're just going to go to Elf. And see what happens there. Okay, so I did point out Deep Elf Annihilators as being one of the more dangerous Elf threats. They're all, the main threats are mostly spellcasters, so I'm going to wield anti-magic. But there are some dangerous Elves that are powerful melee threats as well. Typically, I wouldn't recommend most characters do elf. However, I do think it's a good idea for a character like this whose elemental resistances aren't so great. It's a good place to get some nice items that'll fill that, that gap in our strength. Most of these normal elves are pretty much are pretty easy for us, but there are some strong ones which we should watch out for. Conjurers can hit you pretty hard. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to try to do this segment fairly quickly. Hopefully that doesn't punish me too hard. These guys can do a lot of damage. Oh, Azrael. Now that's a nasty unique. Okay. He's a fire, fire elemental type guy. He also has Hellfire, which is a dangerous AC ignoring attack. Ah, uh, and he's far away. I don't want to be walking back here into unknown territory. All right, if he does throw fireballs as well as Hellfire, but I, because of these other elves, I don't want to have Cold, uh, cold vulnerability. Okay, good. Got him. That was kind of a nasty situation because of the uh, combination of all those elves and Azrael, who can do a lot of damage. But we're okay. Right. Now keep on moving. And here's an Annihilator. Alright, so we're going to move back. Get him with Anti-Magic. Good. Once you start hitting something with anti-magic, the threat is substantially reduced. And my file of floods is recharged, which is great. Having low evasion is kind of annoying. As you can see, I've been losing a lot of items to the elemental attacks of these elves. 
mostly they're not, you know, major losses, but it's definitely something that's much more noticeable. Um, much more noticeable on a character which has has low evasion like ours. Okay. So the invisible monsters are annoying, but not a huge threat. Priest. I'm going to kill these smiters, take them seriously. And we don't need needles of sleeping. In fact, I don't think we need needles at all. Oh, perfect. Scroll of recharging. Well, I'm definitely going to recharge that heal wound swan we got earlier. And this time it was nice to us and gave us full nine charges. Great. That's the maximum for those special wands. Some more orcs. Orcs are not uncommon enemies in this branch. But we definitely want to take care of this high priest. Magic mapping, that could come in handy. So yeah, the commentary is going to be a bit lighter in this branch because it is not... The, the branch end will be a difficult one, but until then... Oh, here's a good threat. Deep Elf Demonologist. Notice it has Banishment and Summon Greater Demon. These are two of the most dangerous spells that a caster can have in the game. So first of all, we want to check that we have good MR. We do. And let's get back to the staircase and... and see if we can do this safely. Okay, we want to get him with ma anti-magic as soon as possible. Good. Those are probably the most dangerous brand of elves. Sorcerers are also very nasty. And I'm sure we'll encounter some of those soon. I'm gonna turn armor back on. Not hugely preoccupied about it. I really do want to find enchant armor more than anything. Because we have this crystal plate mail, and one of the great benefits of it is it's it can be enchanted to plus 14, and we've only got plus 2 now. Anyway, here's Nicola. Nicola can be one of the most dangerous threats. He has the ability to cast Chain Lightning, which does an immense amount of damage. And he has a lot of HP as well. So, let's see. The stairs are a little bit further than I'd like to walk to. We, have, we clearly don't have a source of resist electricity, so I am going to use a Potion of Resistance here. And this is why. He casts Chain Lightning. And he's blinking around. This is one of the more annoying things about him. It's not great to be fighting him with the elves, but okay, luckily he's in melee with us, so now we can hit him with anti-magic. And things should get a lot easier. Great. Yeah, Nikola is very dangerous if you don't have a potion of resistance or some source of Aralek. But let's see if his cloak is an upgrade for, our, for us. No, it's not. We a cloak of darkness was can be evoked to uh, to go invisible, but as a minotaur berserker, that's not an incredibly useful trait. And let's we don't need to carry these decks of cards. But yeah, Nicola is definitely one of my favorite uniques. He's really, really strong and really cool. Very powerful. And he doesn't do anything silly, just just raw damage. 
Oh, here's a sorcerer. Our first one. So this one doesn't have greater demon, but it's got some nasty spells. Hellfire and Bolt of Draining. So let's go around this corner and see if it, we can't get it to come out. All right. Now that we started hitting it with anti-magic, it was very, you know, a safe fight, but if they're at the edge of line of sight, definitely dangerous. Bardish, which we don't need. And a trove of treasure, wow. That'd be nice to slow off, show off. Unfortunately, it requires a wand of hasting, which is probably the item I desire more than any other at this point. The haste spell is incredibly powerful. It makes you do actions one and a half times faster. And as a berserker, this is really my best source of it. Not to mention I don't have one. <laughs> so it's I'm unwilling to trade that for whatever items, as good as they may be, the trove has to offer. Because certainly that whatever items are in there, they're not quite that good. All right, L three. This floor is this floor is substantially dangerous. I'll show you why, in a moment. Elf three has removes the ability to control our teleports. So even blinking scrolls are not that useful for escaping. This stone wall suggests that the vault is this way. I don't want I don't want to enter the vault without having explored the rest of the floor. So let's go this way. Ah, the demonologist. Shadow fiend. As you okay, this is why summon greater demon is terrifying. Look at this thing. It's a fiend. We we are completely unequipped to fight it. So let's go upstairs. And wait for it to disappear. Okay, we got him with anti-magic, but he's still got a hell sentinel. Now, this is also dangerous, but hopefully we can kill him before the hell sentinel kills us. Great. Abjur and death has made elf immensely easier cannot be expressed how much of a buff to players that was. Both Elf and Orc are probably the branches affected most, but even Zot 5 became a lot easier with Ancient Liches that, uh, being much less of a threat as summoners. From here on I'm going to continue enchanting anti-magic because the remaining threats, the Claymore does plenty of damage on its own. And anti-magic is just really helpful against, as you've seen, these these really nasty spellcasting enemies. Oh, and we've decided to auto-explore into the vault, which is not great. Hmm. Maybe I can show you a little cheesy tactic that's quite popular here. Dig a little bit of a hole. Oh. This vault seems to have lots of stone. So let's go around this way. Actually, let's just go upstairs. I don't want to fight. It's already gotten too many summons. And that Hellion is nasty. Okay, we've waited long enough. All right. Let's see. Open the door. And look at this. I mean, we hit him with anti-magic and he gets an executioner. Demonologist, man. Too strong. <laughs> well, not too strong, but very strong. But, you know, we want those items, right? Hmm. Now, I wonder if I can dig some kind of nice hole to fight from. I'd like to be able to dig a hole like this, but without all this extra space where they can see me. So we're going to try digging this way. And then digging one small hole here. 
This is very cheesy and silly, but but we're going to do it. Oh, nasty. Annihilator, Death Mage. Let's let him come over here. And kill him from safety. Those Death Mages create lost souls, which will imitate the mon nearest monster, which dies. This little kill hole tactic is extremely cheesy, but elves are dangerous enough to warrant it, I think. Unfortunately, I don't have a good way of fighting this guy. So, no flight makes that quite annoying. Okay, demonologist. We don't want to fight any of his summons, so we take him back there. <laughs> I do feel a bit bad for employing these sort of tactics, but... We're trying to win! Ooh. That's not good. I'm gonna just take these guys back to my little hole. So you can see that even a character as powerful as mine is facing a substantial threat from L3. And we haven't even really entered the vault yet. Just goes to emphasize how dangerous this area really is. How dangerous these enemies are. Yeah, here's a sorcerer. It just hit me for massive damage with Hellfire. And it's, it can also haste itself, so... That's just really scary. Even this conjurer is doing a lot of damage, and now I have some pretty bad drain. Really dangerous branch. And that's why I don't like to suggest players do it. But, oh, this guy brought out some of the loot from the vault for us. We don't need the mace. But the file is very nice. Also, although uh, Elf does have a lot of monsters with draining attacks, they also provide lots of experience. So usually the drain goes away pretty quickly, and if it gets too ridiculous, we'll just have to we'll just have to bow out. Summoner. It's my main enemy here. Monsters which can go invisible and blink are pretty nasty. Oh, here's a here's a fun vault. Look, there's a nice cache of loot for us, right? Nope. Mimics. <laughs> How nice. And they're ravenous mimics too. They they can be quite powerful. The guardian serpent is guarding a a trap, false lo loot collection. But hey, it's it's experience for us, and there is some real loot. We needed the experience to restore our drain status anyway. Okay, so we have a scroll, which is either requirement or brand weapon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. Alright. Let's go for a wand, because as I was saying, the wand of hasting is definitely the most useful item that could possibly exist. Unfortunately, it's invisibility. Which we don't really want at all. But that's okay. I mean, 
it's not really a big deal if you waste an acquirement. Okay, recharging. I can I can rather recharge my rods, which will increase their enchantment, increase the amount of MP they have, which would be nice. Or one of these wands. Well, I have plenty of teleports and plenty of heals, so I'm not going to carry this around. Because I definitely don't want to lose it in case I do get a wand of hasting later. Alright, remove this exclusion. And let's let's see if we can't do the vault. Okay. There's the high priest. And where our kill hole is too far away. So let's move this and a sorcerer. But it's got a rod. And a helpful one at that. A rod of clouds. Alright. I've been meaning to try one of these out. It has some kind of evoked collection of clouds. I don't know what it really does. Oh, okay. So that's kind of like a poison cloud. But I guess its range is so much, so much short. Yeah, but that's that seems like it'll be handy. Wand of fire and some sort of ring that we don't recognize. Okay, we definitely want that. Uh, we don't need polymorph now. Uh, let's find out what it is. Oh. Okay, so we got a new amulet. We're out of ID scrolls, so I'm gonna go collect some of those. And then try to finish it up. Finish up F. Sorry, this is a bit boring. Resist corrosion, that's nice to have. But not something we need right away. Okay, conjurers here. If we see anything more dangerous than that, we're going to pull all the way back. Okay, there's a mage. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad I don't have flight, huh? Guess I'm just going to have to walk by. Rest over here. Alright, that identify scroll is very good. Ooh, nasty. Hmm. Use the fog to try to get him to get close to us and kill him. Because our main goal is going to be getting into these hallways where things will be much safer. And we can actually rest. Ah, that was nice of you to blink nearby. Okay, Blade Master. This is really one of the first. This is our first main melee threat. It has two weapons. It's the only monster that can deal, dual wield. And as such, it hits hard and multiple times per turn. I'm going to move back here. Evoke the Lamp of Fire, which I just got to hopefully put a cloud underneath these guys. Because most elves have low HP but great evasion. So having them stand in a cloud is very handy. Great. And now these guys are standing in clouds. Or no, they're not. Okay, let's let's try to take out this death mage. Oh boy, this is getting bad. Doing a lot of damage to us. So let's try to teleport out. Start regening. Still want to kill this. Oh, right, I can't teleport. Oh, that was an absolutely foolish move. Oh, boy. Definitely want to heal up now. 
Yeah, that was a big error. Luckily, I have a lot of consumables here. But yeah, you need to be careful about <laughs> about carrying or wearing items that remove your ability to teleport, as I was. But that's okay. All right. Those boots can certainly be better than what we're wearing. Okay, they're boots of jumping. What that does is we can evoke them and jump to an enemy, which might not be totally useless for us. Uh, and they're also much higher enchant than what we had, so of course I'll take it. What do we have here? Uh, cutlass. Too bad it's not a, not a triple sword or a claymore. All right, let's try to handle the other side a bit, a bit more prudently. Okay, there's our first sorcerer. Good, killed him with, uh, with our horns. A nice perk of a minotaur. And raising decks gave us more evasion. All right, good. Uh, I'll carry that around. Probably useful against shadow dragons. And let's just melee this blade master. Luckily, with our AC, we're, we're we did okay against him. But these master archers, man, they do a huge amount of damage. But you know, one v one, there just aren't too many threats in this game. Okay. What can I drop? I don't need. Well, I don't. I don't really want both of these rings of positive energy, and I don't really want the Lantern of Shadows, as even though it's a pretty cool item. Don't need that robe. All right. They're bringing out all these items for us. All the loot. And it looks like we've cleared it out. Nice. carry that. Well, this is pretty sad, isn't it? Well, maybe these gloves are going to be good. Let's find out. Okay, they're certainly better than strength. I mean, we lost a point of evasion, but gloves with a resist on them and a double resist at that, that's fantastic. Now we can wear our ring of fire without having to go into negative um, negative resistance. And we don't need to carry the Ring of Ice anymore. Hmm, what do I want to recharge? Well, nothing, so I'm gonna drop it. We've got lots of teleportations and lots of heal wounds, and I haven't really been impressed enough by any of those rods. Don't need the demon whip. Don't need all these artifacts. All right, so let's go to the go do crypt now. And what was that? Okay, I lost evolution and I got fast metabolism. Well, clarity is nice. Fast metabolism is just annoying. It's not dangerous at all. And slow healing is a bit dangerous and <laughs> quite frustrating. So earlier I dropped my Holy Claymore, even though it'd be really useful here, but the main threats in Crypt are definitely things which can be taken care of with anti-magic more, more usefully. Crypt's pretty dangerous, though. So we're going to be careful here. We're going to be nice and, nice and slow. Okay, Necromancer. Check the Necromancer out first, and... Now these Simulacra are a lot less dangerous because I have double resist cold. Of course I would prefer resist fire, but that's all right. The Golden Dragon Simulacra. 
Simulacrum can do a lot of damage, though. It's nice to have a fire attack against them, but that'll be all right. We can live with it without having it. Flaming corpse. What does this guy do? They're fast. I think they hit you with sticky flame. You want to take out the wraiths first. As we've seen, they can slow you. Which is absolutely lethal. But mostly skeletons and zombies aren't going to be a problem. <clears throat> Once I get 10 evocations, I should... I'm going to be happy with that and start training fighting again. Ooh. It's actually a fast, fast skeleton. All right, cool. Now, fighting is definitely great. Gives you extra HP. That's useful to every, like, legitimately every character in the game. Can't think of another skill. Well, dodging and armor, of course, are useful to most characters. Let's let's use the spot of clouds. Okay, freezing vapor. That's all right. That thing seems pretty good. Don't use too many rods in crypt because you do have to eat a lot of perma food here. There just isn't much. There aren't many corpses. But that's okay. We have plenty. So yeah, I don't have as much to comment on in these sections, but I did want to to show them off, at least. Because they are, especially Crypt is definitely a good idea to do in, in most three rune games. Ooh, Deep Dwarf Death Knight. What is this guy? It has Injury Mirror, Drain Life, and Animate Dead. So what we're most concerned about is being drained if there's a wall of zombies blocking him away from us. And if he starts reflecting damage, that could be bad. Let's see if he does that. Okay, good. We avoided it. Entry mirror can make them quite irritating. And kind of force you to force you to run away and fight them in better circumstances. Okay, Phantasmal Warrior, we've seen these things can be dangerous. Vampire Knight, definitely dangerous. But luckily we still do have clarity. Whoa. Okay, Revenant is like some kind of badass that hits you with these conjurations, which also I think summon summon monsters, and then Jiangshis aren't exactly fun to fight either. They're faster than you. And they have a vampiric attack. So let's go up here. I mean, yeah, we're tanking hits from these fast monsters the whole time, but it's better than stopping to fight a huge stack. Okay, good. Yeah, that was that was pretty nasty. Let's see if we can do this stair dancing effectively. Yeah, we definitely want anti magic against the revenant if we can. Ouch, man, these things are dangerous. And there was a vampire that went invisible there. Okay. That's, that's probably one of the bigger threats that we can expect to encounter here. 
it was the Revenant. The Jiangshis are just pure damage, and they are hard to kill too because of, because of their vampiric attack. All right, a Curse Skull. Now these things are bad news. It has Torment, and it summons Undead. We want to get... Oh, thank you for pointing that out, Winsbury. Ghostly Flames check uh, negative energy resistance. I did not know exactly how they work. So, I appreciate that. Anyway, this Curse Skull, we want to get in melee with him so he doesn't create a wall of undead. We want to kill him fast. Okay, are these summoned? Yes, so in that case, we're going to Berserk against him. It may seem like overkill, but it's worth doing. Torment is not something you want to deal with. Especially in that specific positioning, there wasn't really a nice place to escape to. Okay, I don't need the needles. Alright. This is kind of a nasty group. Does he... He's got a great mace, so... I didn't want to disarm the trap. I wanted to swing at him. Oh, that's... There's a nice interface screw. And we even get to encounter a lich. Alright. So... That was... That was very frustrating. Because I wanted to swing at open air there, but it's the same hotkey to do that as control is direction. Control plus direction also tries to disarm a trap. So I failed to disarm the web and got drawn into it. Well, I'm going to carry anti-magic, take out the lich as fast as possible. Take out the vampire knight. Start taking out the next vampire knight, which went invisible. Good. That... That could have gone a lot worse. The um, the liches, liches are always a nasty threat. And now we have to move back because of the Plague Shambler. Ah, wonderful. Well, I want to take out this Necromancer. And let's move back a little bit further. Wow, look at this. It's just Necromancer City. It's like they have have some sort of excellent flanking tactics. <laughs> but that's okay. I did tank some hits from that Simulacrum, which is not great. But it seemed like the safest option. Want to take out the wraith so we don't go slow. Check out this other downstairs. Nice and far away from all those nasty things. Scrolls of fear aren't super useful here, but we do want them. They can come in handy later on. But they're certainly not as good, whoops, as they are early on. Now this ghoul has a rotting attack, which is very annoying. And it hits hard. These things are absolute tanks. But luckily it didn't manage to rot us. Eidolons have a bolt of draining and the ability to cause fear. An unborn. What is this guy? Haunt. Agony. Entry mirror. Animate dead. Okay, we do not want to fight that along with uh, with the vampire knight. So let's wait. Okay, can you guys come a little closer, please? I'm honestly inclined to take a, a third staircase. Is this the one? Let's take this one, because the Unborn is, seems kind of dangerous. Yeah, this looks okay. I want to be able to get out of its miasma range, so I didn't want to kill it next to that wall. Oh, 
Yeah, this is crypt seems quite dangerous these days. But we're gonna clear it out. Oh, there's our deep dwarf death knight friend. Okay, now it's doing pain mirror, so let's just go away from there. Oh, there's a Shadow Wraith. Great. Well, I still want to kill the ghoul. Shadow Wraith at least doesn't do a huge amount of damage. But that's that's pretty nasty to be slowed and fighting a ghoul. Alright. Now we can take the Deep Dwarf Death Knight out. But yeah, this is... Oh, perfect. We've been wanting those. We've been wearing crystal plate mail, right? And it's been mostly unenchanted. Great. Two extra AC. That is awesome. I want 50 AC. I want like 50 20 defenses by the end of this game. Those, those would be really excellent. But I also want, you know, the most important component of defense, which is Good HP. Kill the Phantasmal Warrior. Okay, let's get this unborn. Let's hit him with anti-magic. That's probably smarter. Great. Kill the Vampire Knight. And the Lost Soul conveniently cl clones him. Yikes. Wraiths are so dangerous. Slow is such a bad, dangerous status. I mean, bad as in, you know, it's an absolutely lethal status. I don't mean it's, like, bad mechanically, unfun or anything. It's just so dangerous. And there's still this, this horde over here. We need to clear out the vault. By this point, the whites are trivial enemies. And I think there was some miasma there, so it thinks we can't, like, we can't auto-explore into there. Whoops. Okay. And that's not... We still have plenty of crypt to do. It's five floors long. Guardian mummies. Okay, I guess we found the entrance to tomb. Even though guardian mummies are an easy enemy for us, because when you kill them, you have you get death curses. I want to. I don't want to fight a whole group at once. One death curse is being slowed, which, as we've seen, is quite dangerous. Okay. Good. Lost Souls seem like an okay enemy. A little bit. It can create some interesting situations. Alright, I killed something. We want to watch our status bar when we fight ghouls. Rot is something you want to take care of earlier rather than later. The Greatsword. How about Claymores only from now on? I think I earned it, Trog. Minus MR is worrying. Does he have any hexes? No. Good. He's not mirroring injuries anymore. Okay. Do not need to carry that yet. I mean, if I got another wand of heal wounds, that would be nice. But no such luck. Okay, there's the Vampire Knight. He's summoning things rapidly, but we got him. I thought we would kill him fast enough to not really require anti-magic, but it would have been a good idea there. Is this mutation? 
worth carrying, but unlikely to be particularly useful. I like this. Did it just blink? Okay, good. Vampire knights are quite a, <laughs> just kind of frustrating enemies to fight without uh, without see invisible. All vampires are. Oh, we want that. Okay, we just got a full inventory still. Okay, we're not going to use the Tome of Destruction. I thought I could have some fun with it, but we'll go back and find it if we really need it. Another Death Mage, but we've killed plenty of these guys already. I guess Jiangshis have some sort of erratic uh, movement. Another Shadow Wraith, I guess. Perhaps a Shadow. Sometimes the Spectral Elves are more dangerous than the Elves themselves. Elves themselves. Check the stair. Oops, uh, kill that thing for some reason. And this thing. My god, this floor is absolutely packed. And on to the next. On to the next floor. We are fortunate. We are making progress with the crypt. Though it has been a difficult one. A, a, tra a taxing one. There haven't been too many situations that have been especially dangerous. Okay, so now as we hit this guy, we take damage too, but <laughs> he was at low HP when he started it, fortunately. Crypt is much more packed with enemies than I remember. But that's alright. No hurry. I mean, this is an optional area, so can't really complain too much. Uh, Revenant, that's... Dangerous. Especially since he's going to be cloned when I when I kill it by this lost soul. And it blinks. Wonderful. Whatever. Oh, that went okay. Ooh. Khufu is is super dangerous. Okay. And I don't really have a great place to fight him. Yeah, that's why he's dangerous. Let's take off our ring. And teleport. Okay, good. Yeah, Khufu is basically a super greater mummy. And greater mummies are already one of the primary threats in the game. Well, in a game where you encounter them. But I noticed that there was a, a silent specter somewhere around here, which is a monster with a huge aura of... Oh, it actually wins, Bree. My viewer just pointed out the same thing. If I can bring Khufu into a silence range, then he can't actually cast spells. And so if we can do that, this will be awesome. Unfortunately, I need to find the silent specter. Where is it? Okay, cool. It's somewhere around here. There we go. So this thing is uh, this thing is now our ally. Well, sort of. <laughs> I mean, it's it's gonna be hitting us. 
And unfortunately, because I'm a Minotaur, it might just kill itself on my horns. But, hey. Oh, here's another friend. Look at this. The Ancient Lich can't do anything. <laughs> this is awesome. I love Scion Spectre. So helpful. Least dangerous Ancient Lich of all time. But unfortunately... Unfortunately, the Silent Spectre is dying because of my, my horns. So I've got to kill Khufu and this Ancient Lich fast. Or, you know, fairly fast. Oh, darn rot. Well, good thing we have potions of curing. And right on time, the Silent Spectre dies to our horns. That was awesome. Winsbury, that was an awesome fight, wasn't it? <laughs> and by awesome, I mean trivial because of silence, but I don't know. Kind of fun. I appreciate it. Nice. More heal wounds. Ooh, a curse skull. And it's in a it's in another bad position. But I think we can come around this corner and be alright. Just don't want to get tormented, you know. Uh Whoops. We're kind of blockaded in now. It's kind of, it's also annoyingly tormenting me on the turn I come into line of sight. Okay, we're going to put on positive energy instead of regeneration. And read a scroll of fog. Oh, this curse skull seems to... It's frustrating me. <laughs> I'm not... I don't really know what to deal, do about that. I'm gonna run away. Oh, we've cleared most of this floor, so... We'll just not kill it. That's a very irritating behavior it has. But now we're in Crypt 5. We're in the final, the final vault. So, put back on our slaying ring. Eat our choco, and hope we don't run into any curse skulls. Right? We we killed Khufu, which is, you know, greater mummy. That's super dangerous. So we should be feeling pretty good, right? Yeah, and we are feeling good. Feeling great. But this is the branch end, you know, there's some nasty stuff. The flying skulls are the least of our worries. Except for maybe zombies, right? Zombies are, are clearly actually the least of our worries. Okay. So this there's a kind of castle up here. Which I'll explore at the end, because I believe that's the the most dangerous part of the vault. And I just want to find kind of my way, a way out first. Oh, nice. In fact, I'd rather wear that because it's more damage and it doesn't have this annoying, this annoying teleportation restriction. Although that's, that's a fantastic ring in its own right. But yeah, slaying is great. I mean, who... This game's all about doing damage, right? So let's do as much as we can. Okay, now we clear the exclusions and get to work. Now we definitely don't want to be hurry, uh, hungry while clearing out the branch end, so eat a ration first. All 
All right, looking good, looking good. Some more skulls. Kind of the skulls are fairly, fairly uninteresting enemies to us at this point. They are fast moving, but we just have such great defenses. I don't think they can really damage us. But hey, they, they can choke things up. That counts for something, right? So in those fights, I, I should point out, I'm not just, you know, hitting tab. I'm specifically focusing on the more dangerous monsters. I mean, tab is great if you, you know, if you're not interested in killing one thing faster than whatever's next. Okay, so this is a this is a pretty packed area actually. And that death knight is kind of annoying. But at least it's not reflecting injuries anymore. So we'll close the door, then rest. Great. Yeah, looks like looks like this place is just packed and everything's awake. We're fortunate that so many of the monsters are flying skulls. Flying skulls are not dangerous. Not to us, at least. Okay. Well. Alright. I think maybe we've cleared out the worst of it, but... I, I may be premature in saying that. We certainly have cleared out quite a bit. Okay, a bone dragon. That's a this is a very very strong melee threat. But being having the AC that we do, we can be comfortable in killing it. The AC and the damage output. Well, we'll eat that. Got some loot. I wonder if there's another bone dragon in here. Indeed not. Let's get anti-magic. And good. Wanted to kill that unborn. Now, I don't want to be fighting... Okay, good. He's not reflecting injuries anymore. Yeah, sometimes you just have to start walking away from them. I wonder what all am I carrying? A lot of stuff. Okay, let's let's get rid of that stasis. Could come in handy if we get slowed, but but that's okay. We'll just deal with it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're gonna lose our nice corner because we killed the plague shambler. Wait. Oh, that's interesting. I thought the Lost Soul actually summons a clone of the monster you kill. But in fact, it it revives it. It re-knits the Plague Shambler, which is actually really interesting because if then we don't get the Plague Shambler death effect. Wow. That's that's cool. I I I would not expect that to have been like a situation that was you know well known. Really interesting. Whoops. That's a cool detail, at least. Wow. Okay, so I just opened that door and took about 70 damage. That's absolutely, absolutely vile. <laughs> like, what all did I get hit by? Bolt of fire, bolt of fire. I have no fire resistance. So yeah, Marjorie is a unique who comes with a band of hell knights and necromancers. She has bolt of fire and fireball. So, 
that's that's gross and we're already in kind of bad a bad spot so I'm gonna teleport and we got teleported to a nice safe place for us to rest okay shadow wraith or something now we want to fight Marjorie and her band in a in some kind of hallway I'm definitely gonna put on put on this ring of fire all right cool that's good okay and there's Marjorie so what what should I do here? Marjorie's gonna come around that corner. I'm gonna hit her with a, with a file of floods, but I want her to be close by. Hmm. Let's kill the Hell Knight first. Okay. Water elemental can do some damage. Marjorie will kill it, of course, but we got her. Perfect. Marjorie can often have a really badass weapon, uh, and she de she usually, I don't know, she always has a dragon armor, so it's worth checking out if you don't have good armor by that point. Yeah, Battle Axe of Pain. I mean, these Hell Knights also carry some some great weapons. But I got some I got some allies, water elementals. We're doing doing absolute work. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't need the demon trident. Uh Archandra asks distortion around here. Around there. Do you mean on like one of the Hell Knight's weapons? I'm not sure what you're asking. Did I get hit by distortion? Did I miss that? Because that would have been that's not a good thing to to fail to notice. Ouch, got slowed. It lasts a long time too, I believe. Okay. Got a lich and the death mage. And the Lich has gone invisible. Well, we'll wait for the door to open. Okay, there, we started swinging at it. Got it. And we killed the Lich. Good. That was a dangerous fight. I don't don't like to be f fighting liches that uh, that I can't see. I don't like to fight anything that I can't see, but and really, liches this is definitely the worst of it. And of course, well, an ancient lich is even worse than a lich. Ha! Huh. There's a neat little neat little room. I must say, Crypt has really been spiced up in, in recent versions. I don't think it happened all in one version, but... It's definitely a, an interesting and dangerous area now. Where in the past it was just kind of something you did. Oh. Okay, these gloves have another resistance on them. A more useful one. And they have more AC. So even though the other ones had double resist cold, I will I like these ones better. However, I'm gonna wear these because um, they're more important for, for the rest of Crypt. What's not important is having this much disintegration. Uh, blowgun is important. So we're going to we're going to carry that. 
And I'm not going to carry around our Distortion Greatsword anymore. I'm going to see if this deck of cards is cool. Whoops. Uh, Alright. So, that's what the water card does. The reason I was willing to wear that, or to evoke that, is because I can evoke flight with these gloves. And let's identify one more. The Sage. Okay, I don't really care about that. I mean, I have the skills that I want for the rest of the game, so I don't want to really lose XP by, by training something else. It would be nice if it was like, you feel studious about dodging, but we can't really count on that, can we? Ah, Flayed Ghosts. I like Flayed Ghosts. They kind of have the feel of summoners where you want to kill them as fast as possible, but without actually summoning. Okay. Let's go. We're, we're going to go all the way back. We got Revenants. We got Skeletal Warriors. It's not, it's not really safe. Now, if the Revenant would actually approach us, then we'd be feeling fine about this fight. But instead, it's standing back and spamming its spells. Okay, here we go. Thank you. I don't even know what that was I just killed. Nor do I particularly care. Okay, skeletal warriors are things we can just now we can kill quite quickly. Ancient champions are a bit dangerous. Especially when they stand behind the skeletal warriors and bolt us with bolts of pelt us with bolts of draining. But nothing too bad. off the potion of blood since as far as I know all that does is either nothing or give you nutrition but for some reason they do auto pick up so hope that they are eat they are useful and uh, curse skull I don't have many more scrolls of blinking, so this cursed skull is going to be an irritating, an irritating nemesis. Yeah, that's that's nice. Just summon a bunch of like useless undead. Well, there's a lot of invisible enemies around. And now I'm slowed. What are these things, man? Okay, can we can we get you to you now, please? Please, thank you. I mean, it's dangerous to be slowed out here from that Berserk, but I mean, we mostly cleared out the floor first. Alright, what is this? Oh, thanks. Absolutely useless item. Whoops, we don't need to drop both those things, but we do want to drop our Scroll of recharging. Okay, profane servitors are evil angels. I don't think it's too dangerous though. It's a melee threat, and it creates this this umbra aura, which is I guess makes it harder to hit. They are dangerous for many characters, but for a strong melee character like this, we can 
do just fine. We don't need any more digging. Fighting a vampire knight with a mi minus MR would be really dangerous if you don't have clarity. It's just very dangerous because they can paralyze you. But anyway, wow, that, that was Odyssey and check out the map. Cool. <laughs> it's a little bit of ASCII art, which is usually not featured in vaults. Um, but anyway, so that was Crypt and Elf, and it took longer than I thought, so it was actually kind of a fairly interesting and dangerous segment thanks to the, the recent Crypt changes. So thanks for watching, and uh, join me next time when we, we really enter the depths.